Matt Garrett here from TGG Accounting. Uh, we are going to talk today about something that's really a challenging thing for most business owners, and that is how do I figure out how much money I can spend in order to acquire a new customer? Should I spend it on this, that? I don't know what you're going to spend it on. I'm not a marketing guru, but what I can do today is mathematically show you how much money you can spend on each customer. And this is your customer acquisition costs. We are solving for what are the customer acquisition costs that you can actually um, go afford to spend and still be profitable. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to figure out your lifetime customer revenue. This is how much money is coming in from your customer on average. And I'm going to assume for a second that you have customers that you're in a, some kind of a service business. It works for a product business as well. This works for any kind of business. But for now, let's say that you've got a business where your customers are going to stay around for two years and that your average customer is going to give you $50,000 of revenue per year. You multiply these two together. That means that your lifetime customer revenue is $100,000. $100,000. That is great. Now you think about what is my gross profit margin on that particular client. In this case, we're going to say it's 50%, which equals $50,000 of costs, which gives me $50,000 of gross profit. Lifetime gross profit, $50,000. Then you have to say, well, wait a minute, we still have overhead and we still have other expenses associated with this person, uh, specific customer. What are those? So we then have to go with lifetime overhead allocation. And you do this typically as a percentage. And in this case, what we're going to say is we're going to say that it's 25%, which equates in this particular case to $25,000. And we subtract that from our 50 to be left with $25,000 of lifetime customer profit. And these are all lifetime. So lifetime here, lifetime here. Now, out of that $25,000, how much profit do we want to retain? In this case, what I'm going to say is that we want to retain $20,000 of customer profit which leaves us with $5,000 of customer acquisition costs. Which means we can spend $5,000 to acquire a customer that's going to give us $50,000 of revenue for two years at a 50% gross profit. That's an amazing thing because you can give them 10% off their first year bill and if that gets them to be a customer, you have still made a 20% margin on your customer over the life of that, that deal. So this, this simple formula ensures that you are going to make sure you have profits, and yet it's going to free you up to go out and spend the money that you may be a little nervous to spend, because you know in the end, as long as you keep that customer for two years at least, and have that $50,000 of revenue, you're going to end up with a profitable customer at the end of the day.